I have finished a zone and I wanted to show you how to advance to the next zone and this is for the QCT5 Pro and I have just finished zone 3. So I am going to mark where the next zone needs to go and then I'm going to advance the quilt and then base the edges down, align the quilt straight and then get to sewing. Right here in the front, this big button, finished zone, proceed to the next zone. First thing you have to do is to pull the bobbin and after the machine finished the last stitch, you can push the machine backwards, grab the thread, pull it forward. I'm going to use the button here on the screen because we are in quilt motion so the buttons in your handlebars won't work. I'm going to needle down, needle up right there and pull it back and then so I've pulled up my bobbin. Okay. Now it doesn't matter where the machine is right now. So I'm going to touch finished zone. I just touched finished zone. Have you completed sewing this zone? This includes pulling the bobbin thread, which we just did. So I'm going to tell it yes. And now the machine has taken control of the carriage again. And it's going to move all by itself to where it needs to be. I like to let it do this so it knows where it's at. It takes a couple of seconds, but it's fine. And it has moved on the exact center seam of this quilt, like I'd like it to. This is a piece of painter's tape that I've been using. It has a single stitch hole in it from previous zone markings. If you haven't done this yet, this is your first time, you just finished zone one, just take a, a piece of painter's tape and I just pull it underneath. Now I'm going to put the previous hole dead center of the hopping foot. Now looking here at the screen, you have a couple of different, it gives you some options to mark the next zone. The default is a single stitch. I like that one. And it shows you on the screen where it's exactly at. So I'm going to touch single stitch and it's going to go ahead and take that. You can just hear it just did that. And done is going to flash in yellow and then it goes to green to continue. So I'm going to touch continue. Are you sure all the zone markers have been properly placed? I'm going to tell it yes. Don't take the tape off, okay? And now the machine will now move to where the fabric marker for the next zone should be positioned. So I'm going to tell it okay. So you leave that tape where it's at. It's going to go ahead and move all by itself. And it moved on my center seam, so that's good. You may not have a center seam to align it, but this is a real good one for me. So it says, move the fabric so that the marker 4A is beneath the sewing machine needle. Okay, so 4A, that means we're fixing to move to the fourth zone. Yours might say 2A if this is the first time you're doing it. So now I'm going to release my side clamps and advance the quilt. So I'm going to let go of the tension here in the belly bar and I'm going to crank and I want to get, I need to remove my quilt clips, need to do that first y'all. <laughs> okay. And I'm going to crank it until the hole in the tape is just under the foot. It does not have to be exact. About right there. And I'm going to tension this up, the belly bar, tension it up again. Put my clamps back on. And now I'm going to smooth out, make sure there's no bumps or lumps in the batting. We don't need any drama like that. And then smooth this back out to center and approximately straight down the side. That's what you're looking for. I actually have a seam running along the top of the belly bar, so that's good. My quilt looks like it's nice and straight. I got a little bit of a bubble right here. I'm gonna put this. Little secret too, if you get a whole bunch of puddling in here, 
you can take a spray bottle and really soak this down with water and um, then smooth it with your fingers and that'll all go away. You can try a steam iron as well. This is, a, this is one I will use steam on my quilt tops. So now I'm going to touch OK. Have you moved the fabric? Touch OK after the fabric marker 4A has been positioned under the needle. And it is. Now the machine is locked and it's approximately under there and that's all right. So I'm going to tell it OK. And now it is placing the next zone. So it says place the pattern for sewing. Now you want to make sure that your needle is directly over the hole in the tape and touch the center placement. I'm assuming you're not doing four points that you're doing the center. So it's good now. It's, it's happy. The carriage is still loose. So now I'm going to come up here to plugins up in this upper corner. And I want to go to the marking tool. All right. So I'm going to create add marking. Okay. I've already been doing this a couple of times. If it's the first time you've done it, you don't need to say add markings because that's default. And I'm going to take my machine and bring it all the way over to the far edge, the far raw edge of the quilt. And I'm going to tap add marking. And I'm going to call this one four for the fourth zone, capital R, which means four right. And I'm going to tell it enter. And I'm going to tap add. And I don't see a dot over here. And that's good because you would get a little brown dot. It's sitting right on top of the previous line, which is fine. Now I'm going to bring the head all the way straight toward me right on the edge of the fabric. And I'm going to touch add one more time. And my line darkened on my screen over here from top to bottom. It drew a line and it's exactly on top of the old one. And that's what I'm after. So I'm going to add marking. And I'm going to call it for capital L for left until it enter. And I'm going to come all the way over here to the left side. And I'm going to go over to the raw edge of the fabric and I'm going to tap add. And I don't see it because it is sitting on top of the previous line. And I'm going to bring this. This appears to be straight. We'll see down to the bottom and I'm going to tap add one more time. And it is sitting just a little outside. So I'm going to remove last and I'm going to realign my quilt just a little bit. Move the head and touch add. Now the line is sitting exactly on top of the old one. Pretty much. <laughs> pretty close. <laughs> Y'all learning experience here too, but that's how you do that. Okay, so I am good. I'm going to tell it okay. I'm going to go to my little toolbox okay, and there's my baste right there. I'm going to move the head back. I'm starting just above where the stitching ended. I'm going to touch baste and it wants to know a speed, slow base, single stitch. I'm going to move my speed up to about six. First thing I have to do is pull my bobbin. So I'm going to go needle up, needle down on the screen and get that up. Okay, and now I'm going to slow baste. So you align the quilt first by using the marking tool to make sure everything is straight. And stop. I'm going to hold on to it a little bit here. Forward and back. Needle down, needle up to pull up my bobbin. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. I can just see the edge of the fabric on the side of the hopping foot. So it is stitching like an eighth of an inch. And I'm keeping an eye on the raw edge of the fabric to make sure it is just inside the hopping foot. And stop. Okay, we're finished. Pull this up. Needle down, needle up. Right. I think I'm going to run out of bobbins sooner rather than later, so I'm going to check it. 
Oh yeah. Oh look, Bob and Chicken. Check it out. <laughs> I won. How about this? Look at that. That's all I had left. I need to go buy a lotto ticket. Yay! I'm gonna put this right over the hole in the tape. It doesn't have to be exact, but it needs to be pretty dang close. All right, so right over the tape. I'm gonna tell it exit on my slow base. We are already set because we have told the machine already where it was. We released the machine to do the basting and marking. I am going to remove the tape now because I'm right over center. I like to start in center so the machine knows where to go. You can move it over there to the start if you want to. I'm going to hit pull bobbin. It has realigned itself over the tape and it's going to move by itself. Exactly to the edge of the fabric. It's perfect. All right. It has pulled the bobbin and now it's going to move. And I'm going to hit sew. And it will move back and begin. 